Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My hard drives, much like a lot of people's hard drives, are full of files, files that were collected or created over the years. And you know that I've used Windows, I've used Linux, and I've used Mac OS X, and sometimes I create files and utilities that are only available for one operating system or another, which creates somewhat of a headache when I need to view the files that I created in an operating system that I don't have quick and easy access to, or I just want a native way to view the files that I know are perfectly fine, it's just I don't have the utility to view the files on the operating system that I choose to use at that time. Well, not to mention I've got to support many operating systems, even in my own house. Of course, I like doing that, so guilty as charged. This weekend, I decided to go out on a little hunt and to see if I could find some Mac freeware that would allow me to open up files that I knew were created on Windows. So I've got this brief roundup, and of course, all of these will be linked directly on the corresponding blog post for this video at chris.perillo.com. Now, the reason why I have my dog Pixie on my lap uh, is because she is the only creature in this house who has not decided what operating system she wants to use. Because we know my wife Ponzi likes Windows, we know my dog Wicket likes Linux, and we know that I'm still using B. Just kidding. I... Anyway, on to the files. If you've ever had to view a PRN file, like, you know, one of those Windows print files, you could use something called Ghost PCLX. That can be found at poorly dot org if you want to view those PRN files. Now here's an interesting one. On the same website there's a, uh, a program, a utility, an app, again for Mac OS X, called Olay Exporter. You remember object linking and embedding? Olay! Way back when? Well the Olay Exporter will allow you to extract those embedded objects out of documents or PDF files or spreadsheets or PowerPoint files it's nice. I wish I had this thing for Windows, but of course now it's available for Mac. Olay! The Olay exporter at poorly.org. Now what about those CHM files? You know, they're, they're usually the Windows help files, not Windows help files, but the Windows help file in the CHM format. You can use chmox, C-H-M-O-X dot S-F dot net. Of course, you know when I say S-F dot net, you know what that means. Da -da -da -da! It's open source, that's right. Chmox, or CHMOX? I, I, I'm not quite sure. But with Chmox, you can view those CHM files directly on your Mac desktop. Very, very nice. This one I remember finding a few months ago. I needed it because, again, I had to view the file and wanted a way to extract stuff from that file from within Mac OS X. What kind of file? A MHT file. No. MHT. Uh, if you uh, are using Internet Explorer and you wish to save out that web page as a single file archive, that would be all the images and HTML and JavaScripts are included in just one file, one little bundle, it creates an MHT file. Well, the best utility that I found, at least for free, that would allow me to view, even quick view or quick look, MHT files in Mac OS X, something called UnMHT. This is available for Firefox. So it's just a little Firefox plugin. It works just fine. I, I couldn't live without it, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's just one of those things, because I have all these MHT files and CHM files just all over the place, and I still want to use that data. I mean, it's still a good file. You just need to have the right viewer for it. Well, last but not least, another one of those obscure file formats, UIF files. You know, like a disk image? Bet you didn't even know that. Well, UIF to ISO, that's the utility's name here, UF, UIF to ISO, could there be any more letters in there, uh, will uh, transform the UIF image into an ISO image, which of course then can be mounted right there for Mac OS X. So, you know, I'm just curious now to know if you know of any other Mac freeware utilities that can help Mac users view files created on Windows while they're in Mac OS X. Make sense? Again, I'm shooting for the word free because I could view those files with relative ease on Windows without paying anything. Why would I pay for anything for a viewing utility on Mac OS X? Or even Linux for that matter. You know, we're looking for utilities that can help us just deal with this mess of files that we have. And then I'm going to extend it even further and ask you if you know of something that will help with the opposite problem. Utilities 
free utilities for Windows that can help people view files that were created on a Mac. Maybe there are some things that exist in that capacity. Anyway, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're welcome to follow up with a comment of your own, and we'll just continue to extend our reach in helping people deal with a myriad of nightmares when it comes to PCs in general. And I, when I say PC, I'm talking personal computer, whether you're running Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows. I mean, there are headaches in every operating system. Isn't that right, Pixie? You're, you're, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Don't make a decision. If you'd like to join the rest of us geeks here, we're hanging out, typically talking tech, hardware, software, internet services. Love talking about it all the time. I mean, whether I'm talking about it directly in front of the camera, because that's streaming out all the time. People have this uh, sneak peek into my life. It's not really a sneak peek. It's not really behind the scenes. It's kind of in front of the scenes, because I'm streaming my life 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with this chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.